Hey guys, a quick reminder, go ahead and get your coffee, your tea, or whatever it is that you love to drink, and maybe a snack, and enjoy this video. Basin. And today I will be sharing with you a very rustic Thanksgiving tablescape. I normally don't do rustic, but I just wanted to step outside the box and just see what I could actually do with it. So I'm going to need for you guys to let me know in the comment section what you think about my very rustic tablescape. Now these plates that I am using, these um, dinner plates and salad plates, I picked these up from um, TJ Maxx. I think it was earlier on in the year, maybe like the beginning of the year, January, February time frame. May have been a little bit later than that, but it was early on in the year. And when I saw these plates and um, dinner plates and salad plates, they just spoke to me. And I just felt like I needed to try to do something with them. So I decided to save them for my Thanksgiving um, tablescape. So, you guys... If you're new to my channel, I welcome you here and I thank you so, so very much for clicking that button to see what I was up to here today. For those of you that continue to show me so much love and support, you guys know I love you, I thank you, and I appreciate you so very much. If you're new and you want to be a part of this family, a part of this crowd here, all you have to do is hit that red subscribe button and tap the notification bell twice. Therefore, you'll be notified each and every time that there is an upload here. Now that I've said that, I wanted to bring you guys along with me as I decorated this table. But when I went back to look at the footage, it was all like very dim and maybe my lens needed to be cleansed. Maybe my lighting was wrong. I don't know what happened to it, but I, I just don't feel comfortable sharing that uh, footage that didn't look quite so good. So what I'm going to do is actually share with you my tablescape and then I'll try to um, share with you what I have and where I got them from, if I can remember. Y'all know how this memory is. Sometimes it just don't work right. So hold on and enjoy. Okay, you guys, we're going to start here with the center. And as you can see, this bush that I have here is actually from Hobby Lobby. And I just love the color of it. it al it's almost like the tiger eye. And it's very flimsy but full. And I thought it would be perfect for this table here. Um, and I've, what I've done is just added a few other picks that I've had. Um, this pick with the pumpkin or some that um, my daughter was going to use um, in her wedding but she opted out of and she gifted those to me so I've inherited those um, picks here have quite a few of them but um, I I'll use them this beautiful I think it's like hunter green face um, I love the shape of it the bottleneck with the um, huge bottom I just love that. And then these floor picks here I picked up from um, Hobby Lobby along with the Grateful Sign. And I think I have three of those floor picks that are in this um, center here. And I'm also using um, pine cones and acorns. And you see these beautiful pine cones here, this big, beautiful pine cone. This was a gift to me from well, a sister friend at church. I don't know if she was going to bought them to use herself or where she got them from, but she decided she wasn't going to use them and she thought of me, little old me, and she gifted them to me. You guys would have thought she'd given me a shopping spree when she gave me those um, pine cones. I don't know if I'll leave them in their original state. I just love the way they look. They are just huge and beautiful. Also in my center, you will see these green leaf um, this greenery that leaf likes these um, are candle rings and they're like the leaves are almost lifelike and I just love the way that they look so I decided to use those you guys you don't have to use things that you buy you can always be creative and use them in a different way so I'm actually not using these as a candle ring but I'm using them to give me that rustic look for this tablescape that I'm um, sharing here 
And you see I've got my wine glasses added in here and I've got this beautiful um, small pumpkins that I have used before. And we will go ahead and continue out and check out the play settings. And at my play settings you will see those beautiful dishes that I was speaking of. Um, these are the dinner plate and the salad plate and you see those beautiful uh, pheasant birds on the center of those plates absolutely gorgeous and this is what I fell in love with the color so bold and bright and colorful and I just love them so when I saw them at TJ Maxx I just knew that I had to use them for something and I decided to save them for this tablescape for Thanksgiving also at this place setting you see that gorgeous uh, napkin ring these are some that I have had for quite some times I think they were thrifted and then the napkins are the linen napkins and I've just got my flatware housing in the napkins and then these beautiful charger plates that I am using they are square and I picked these up from Pure One many years ago and they are just as good now as they were back then Everything is being housed on this runner, which is linen in the center and the um, lace along the side and the ends. I just thought all of this paired very well to give me that very rustic, rustic um, tablescape that I was looking for for Thanksgiving. Now, as I th stated in my intro, I usually don't do rustic, I'm a more elegant and glam kind of girl, uh, but I thought I could do something with this. So you guys let me know what you think of my rustic, rustic tablescape. Did I do rustic enough? Do I need to do more rustic? Or is this okay? Alright you guys, my grateful son, we are all grateful for something, so let us name it one by one what we are grateful for. I want to wish you all a happy Thanksgiving, and in case I don't get to do another tablescape this week, the Daughters of Destiny will be hosting our um, annual Baby It's Cold Outside um, collaboration, and that's going to be this Sunday, uh, November 28th, upload time is 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can find more information regarding that at my open invite um, video that I have also in my um, content. So you guys, I thank you all so much for stopping by. If you're new and you want to become a part of this family, go ahead now and hit that red subscribe button, tap the notification bell twice so you'll be notified each and every time that an upload is made here. And I want to wish you all a very happy Thanksgiving. Be blessed, stay safe, and until I see you again. So you guys, don't forget to give me that thumbs up as well. I appreciate you so very much. This is how YouTube know whether or not you enjoy my content. So don't forget the thumbs up.